How to fix America. Quit it. Quit it. America has some major problems right Why? now. So here are 10 ways to fix America. Number Why is one, he throwing change? Ugly babies. Every guy's nightmare is hearing, I'm pregnant. And the only thing facts. worse is being preggers, which facts. isn't safe. Hey, facts. No, <laughs> I've been through a lot this year. Hey, facts. I don't be doing stuff like that. A lot of y'all think I'm gay anyway, so hey, you know, let's just go with that. And the only thing worse is being preggers with tism face. What is that, a demon? Get your what hell spawn away that? from me, Becky. It's loud, stupid, and hurts to look at. So why Get off my screen. It? I want to spike it, possibly pale it to a ceiling fan, but hold. Oh, look, everyone deserves a second chance. What? And we should give mothers a second chance not to bake a potato. So how do we solve it? Well, what does that mean? Is that a metaphor for having a child? I've never heard of that. I will be doing more research on this later on. So how do we solve it? Well, we all love dogs, right? And we all know there's a lot of hungry dogs out there. Okay. Okay, I think some of you see where I'm going with this. Now, before you call child services... I don't or PETA, hear me out. This isn't about cruelty, okay? It's about sustainability. Think about right. like recycling with a more immediate impact on our happiness. We can call it cradle to the kennel. No more forgetting your stroller outside Chris's house. Just what? take little Billy down to the shelter and Kobe him in the nearest deep fryer. That free throw might make you sad, but that trophy will make you forget. So let's start turning little nightmares into happy meals. Number what? two, pain for- it's only been 56 seconds and he's already wilding. What have we been talking about this whole time? How to fix America? Who was talking about killing kids? What the fuck? Happy meals. Number two, pain for kitty. Men are monsters. We all have this yeah. built-in rage meter that spikes with every sus joke. Pork and helps relax us. No guy's ever gotten a blowing is like, oh, oh, maybe we should nuke Iran. Besides, what really is prostitute? <laughs> Imagine you getting a blowjob and the first thing you talk about is violence. What type of person are you? You gotta be truly evil to be doing some shit like this. Besides, what really is prostitution? Corn is legal. Why? Because you have a camera and make him sign a best be on a pill contract? Gold digging is legal. Al Pacino recently became a father at age 83 with his girlfriend who's 29. That's a 54 Whoa. year age gap. Now sure, maybe she gets turned on by playing jump rope with his old man balls. Or maybe she's looking for a little financial security. Either yeah. way, they're both consenting yeah. adults who deserve to trade jet skis for blowies. Number three, homeless guinea pig. Great life. a massive homeless problem right now, and this crisis could be solved if they just had a job. But unless it's giving handies for meth, what job can a homeless person do? Sam giving handies for meth. That's what he said, y'all. He said that. Where can I sign up? <laughs> to buy... <laughs> What job can a homeless person do? Simple, human guinea pig. Right now, we test drugs on mice who share about 97.5% of our DNA, but that 2.5% yes. could be a herpes side effect. That's why wow. homeless people should test drugs before us normies take them. And I'm not why saying we homeless? Them. I'm saying we encourage. Go up to one and be like, hey, so I have this pill that may or may not give you heart palpitations, but I also have $120. Hmm? Hmm? That way regular people get safe drugs and the homeless get my cruelty. Number four. Chad, what do y'all think about that? I think that's a little evil. I wouldn't do that. That sounds kind of messed up because a lot of them homeless people would do anything for some money. A lot of homeless people that I've seen in my lifetime do be on drugs. And isn't that the same thing as being a test dummy? You just trying random drugs? Number four. We need to exterminate deer. Why? And this one's personal because a deer killed my mom. I mean, technically she OD'd, but I like to think deer were on her mind at the time. Point is, deer cause 60 to 70,000 auto accidents a year. And yes, that number has to be inflated. Because if you hit someone with your car, the first thing you're blaming it on is the deer. For the last time, it wasn't Billy, it was Bambi! Oh, but deer <sighs> are so cute. Yeah, I'm pushing downstairs. <laughs> legs just flailing everywhere as I'm licking my lips, knowing that meat is about to be tender. Now, some of you may not be wow. on board with exterminating them, but what about relocate? Like, we could take all the ones from the wild and put them in a place where they wouldn't get distracted. Like some sort of concentration camp. That way, the road stays safe is he trying to do the holocaust on deers is this man doing mind comp right now is he trying to make america great again he literally just gave me a whole plan for a concentration camp of deers basically he's doing a holocaust to deers that way the road stays safe and deer get what's coming to them i knew it Five, i know i'm all tripping we need to bring back public ridicule and i got the perfect solution this is a pillory that's back a day, no that's a back shot machine be honest bro i know i've seen this before that is definitely a back shot machine i definitely seen this before bro you put your head into the middle one your arms and other ones and you get from the back this is a pillory back in the day whenever someone was a huge d we throw them in this nifty little device imagine walking down the street and seeing kanye stuck in one of these be like hey yeezy i guess your high fives for or comments had consequences after all hey be a doll and take a picture of my jewish cousin everyone say karma 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 Number what? six, drugs? <laughs> 
Why are some drugs illegal? Seriously, because some are bad for you? So are cheeseburgers. Yet I don't see any fatties getting tackled at McDonald's. And heart disease <laughs> is the number one killer in America. So if we're going purely off deaths, then Big Macs are worse than heroin. And some illegal drugs have health benefits. Psilocybin can help with depression. THC really? can help reduce PTSD triggers. And fentanyl can help anyone under 5'7 finally be happy. So how about what does he mean by that? What does he mean by that, chat? Oh, because a lot of kids die from fentanyl. That was a crazy joke. I'm not going to lie. I had to use my thinking cap for that one. So how about we just legalize it all, let natural selection do the rest? Because in my America, everyone deserves a quarter pounder and a quarter ounce. <laughs> Number seven, sell me your parts. No matter how poor you are, everyone's sitting on a pile of cash. Do you have any idea how much your organs are worth? You could trade bone marrow for a new Camaro, a ball to a trip to Nepal, a kidney for a wedding at Disney, or literally a an eye for an iPhone. I mean, you can already sign up to be an organ donor. Why is it illegal to turn to a side hustle? And both sides of the aisle should be together on this one. Conservatives don't want the government to tell them what to do, and liberals are poor. It's a win win for everyone. Also, <laughs> side note, if you're an organ donor and decide to wrestle a bear, is that a suicide attempt or a charity event? Because I'm pretty sure there'd be some sick kids in the front row rooting for the bear. Number eight, trans what? people need to relax. Most people don't give a shit what you do with your body. If you want to chop off your eggplant and change your name from Steve to Stacey, go ahead. You should be able to do whatever you want with your body, and I should be able to call you whatever name I want. It's America. If I want to call you Mr. Poopy Face, then that's my right. No one can tell me I can't call them Mr. or Mrs. Poopy Face. Well, maybe except black people. Uh, the point is, if some- Why do we get that straight like that? Hold on, wait, wait, let me, wait. Are you saying black people like poop because we black and brown? No one can tell me I can't call them Mr. or Mrs. Poopy Face. Uh, well, maybe except black people. Uh, the point is, if someone calls you the wrong name- say, well, like shit. Out, then that's their right. The same way as your biological decisions are your right. You see? That's a quality right there. But some, not all, but some trans people will try to bully and cancel others who don't believe in their ideology. <laughs> like trans people should be allowed in all sports. Really? No exceptions? Because they identify as whatever you want and compete for money or scholarships what if conor mcgregor identifies as paraplegic and starts beating the downs out of someone in the special chat what y'all think about this do y'all think trans people should be able to compete in sports in all sports or should trans people get their own sport let me know in the comments below i'm actually interested and i will reply to every comment no i won't i will not try to get canceled but i will be reading every comment because i i'm not trying to say anything that's gonna get me fucked up identifies as paraplegic and starts beating the downs out of someone in the special olympics is that okay how does billy supposed to tap out when he can't move his hand they don't tell me connor's not paralyzed he's got cte he's basically a pop tart look all i'm it's saying is you gotta have some sort of middle ground you can't just identify as whatever you want and compete against people with a clear disadvantage so trans people you need to relax because your life is gonna have a bunch of challenges i will never face i'm a white male every time i get pulled over over, I get treated fairly, and I can pee while standing up. What more could a person what? want? So try your best <laughs> not to let other people's ignorance upset you. Because the only way you can beat hate is with love. Your dirty, dirty love. Number nine, what? loud children. What was that? What do you mean by dirty, dirty love? What do you mean by that? Number nine, loud children. If a child is screaming in public and their parent is ignoring them, then you should be allowed to that child. No one gets slapped in the face and doesn't immediately change their behavior. That's like a wake up call in life. And just cause you didn't pull out seven years ago, doesn't mean everyone in Target should suffer. Sure, no means no, but definitely means no. So if babies be crying, Valid. my hands be a flying. Number 10. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> Babies be crying, my hands be a flying. Number 10. <laughs> Why are we giving Spaghetti Legs over here special treatment? He doesn't need a seat at the movie theater. He brought his own. Disabled people are constantly being given a free ride. They get government handouts, discount on lap dances, and prime get discounts. Parking. When's the last time you saw stilts at a rock climbing gym? Do hmm? you think it's going to go back to the scene of the accident? And grocery stores are the worst. I got to park half a mile away because Jimmy failed at skiing. Ugh, I'm tired of giving handouts to people who can't catch us. You know? <laughs> This video was very fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. People who can't catch us! You know, I don't want to hear how tough your life is. My dad used to beat me every time the microwave went off. Now I have a panic <laughs> attack every time I smell hot pot. Why? Where's my disability check? Hmm? You think I could work at Papa John's without having a flashback? Have mercy, Papa. I get that your life is tough, but we've all had a tough life, okay? So stop making tier lists of who had the most trauma. The only thing you should care about is how to monetize your crippled body. Yes. There are plenty of options. Cooking shows, hammer time, jumping over the school pool. Sure, they all sound dangerous, but remember, you can't get paralyzed twice. And gaining attention will only help you with the ladies. You Take can a look die. At the fish. You can't get paralyzed twice, but you can die. I'm just gonna let you know that. If you get paralyzed twice, isn't that the same thing as dying? Because basically you're a vegetable. Fish 
shouldn't be caught. Sure, she's not a 10, but that's a fixable face. And he trapped this bass all while never wiping his ass? He said, why be disabled in mope when I could be feeling her throat? <laughs> Bonus category, hey, women should be allowed to be they topless. Fence. Tits make people happy. It's a fact. No one sees a pair of fun bags and isn't instantly in a better mood. So why are women forced to hide them? Because men sexualize them? Well, so do women. You're telling me there wasn't water yeah. flowing when Steve Rogers came out of that pod? And to me, My there's no such flowing. thing as bad tits. You can have an old, wrinkled pair of flapjacks, and I'd still like to see those pendulum swing. Not me. Not me. That's disgusting. So those are 10 ways to fix America. If I missed any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, vegans love vegetables. <laughs> if I want to see more. Animate that more. <laughs>